Welcome back fans and friends for this upcoming video. I have obviously you can see the two Dodge Challengers there. Uh, one of them from uh, I believe running on empty is this one and the other one is a Barrett Jackson. They're both 1970s, both RTs, even though I don't believe the convertible uh, says the make is an RT. Oh sorry it does. Uh, this is the Barrett Jackson as you can clearly see. It says RT on the back there. Meanwhile, for the other one, because of the spoiler, it says it on the back. So we have another one, but it's not an RT. It is. This is also Bear Jackson. You can see there. Nice looking car, and this one is a TA, so Trans American version of the car. And I do believe uh, you can see there. In case you're wondering what the engine will be in this one, we're hoping it says there it's the 346 pack. And as you can see there, it is the same uh, semi-functional hood, separate piece hood as the uh, RT over there. And so we'll just quickly cover the rest of the car. Uh, green light packaging we have there, the limited edition. Series 14 contains obviously one vehicle. And there's the English and adult collectible. Like I said, they started including this. Uh, limited edition, obviously, so it will either have printed on the underside or a sticker. Uh, lately, though, I haven't seen too many of the stickers. So, here we have here, 1970. Unfortunately, this green light, the bar thing interferes with reading it. Not too much, but uh, you can just see the February 4th part. Where it does not lend itself to make it easy. Anyway, 1970 Dodge Challenger TA is one of 2,400 produced between February 4th and May 5th, 1970, and is one of 989 of these vehicles produced with a four-speed transmission for this year. This burnt orange matching numbers example is equipped with a four-speed transmission, which we already know. They could have just said, uh, added other details. Orange interior and console has been restored to OEM specifications and appearance and is a former Mopar Collector's Guide magazine feature car. So all we have to know in addition to the information we have up there is the Goodyear tires. You can see there. And Dodge, which is a part of uh, FCA. And obviously we would like to know that it was made on the 128th day of this year. And the 14562WB contains one die cast, their scale modeling. Uh, I've talked about it before. Uh, certain cars don't scale well 164 because everybody uses a different uh, measuring system. Uh, green light, uh, specific, not really Hot Wheels, they never advertise as 164. But uh, M2 and uh, green light in this case are not very identical. Uh, my favorite series of cars is uh, M2 makes a lot of them from the, those years and unfortunately they're not the same scale as the M2 ones that I have sorry green light ones that I have anyway Dodge Challenger 346 pack and so starting so that I uh, hope is not really a product you can just see how loose the hood is uh, not off to a good start. I'm hoping the uh, struts aren't broken. This one has a little bit of wiggle too. Uh, obviously this one does not. That's why it stays up. The more wiggle it has, the less likely it is to uh, stay up, which is disappointing. But I mean, uh, you can simply make a plastic stand, which is what I did for that Dodge Challenger. Uh, so you can have it open all the time. Anyway. So there we have Challenger written on the inside of the grille on the left side, the driver's side of the car. You can just see the gap for the hood. You can see there my finger. It's uh, perhaps done by specification. The dual of the lights of the front. There we have the underside. No splitters or anything else. Uh, anything else of note? I believe this is the fiberglass hood too, which makes it different than that one over there. Anyway, on the left side. We do have the 340. You can clearly read it there. Six pack and TA right above it. Kind of hard to make out, but uh, if you angle it properly there, you can see it. Uh, turn signal. The door handle looks really nice too. Uh, fairly unique. Uh, I don't think I've seen it. Uh, and it is on those challengers as well. So I guess it just never pops into my head. It looks like this. Unfortunately, the interior of this car is not very orange. Uh, you can just see it is all black. I do believe we did read it was the orange. The interior is supposed to be orange. It is clearly not. Anyway, back to the car. I do like the tires, and you can just see there this one is a little bit mangled. 
Uh, you can just see the gap. We'll see how well it rolls soon enough. But the, the wheels, the rims do look nice. Uh, Goodyear, mostly written properly. Uh, we don't know if the radials or anything else, what kind of tire model it is. On to the back, you have Challenger TA on the spoiler and Dodge in the uh, center light. And we can just see there what I think is uh, two mi mismanufacturing and paint errors, uh, which are not present on those Dodges at all. So that's a little bit of a manufacturing defect. And there you have the Bear Jackson logo on the rear license plate. Uh, welding spats on the underside of the rear portion of the, I, I guess it's the, it's not really the rear splitter, but you can just see there, uh, it looks like car rust. But obviously it's not car rust because A, this is zinc and B, it's not a real car. Uh, you don't see it on these ones. So... Exhaust is identical nearly between the two cars and this one obviously is very different than the others You can just see the rear section there. So it's a bit of minor manufacturing issues If you leave it in the package, obviously you won't have this uh, sort of thing come up and Other side pretty much identical except for the gas cap, which is right there Like I said the coloration of the car makes that stand out looks really nice and once again you have TA which to me, I don't know, does this appear easier to see than the other side? I don't know, it might just be me. 346 pack written on the side there. Once again, door handles, interior, all black. Well, obviously, we know the doors don't open. And onto the underside, it looked exactly like the other two. Uh, this one has the really wide tires. Uh, you can just see these RT's tires are not quite as wide. Obviously, if it's Transamerica, you need to go a lot of off-roading. Uh, obviously, the road and track one does not. So that's just a little, oh, another little minor thing too. You can see the damage on the spoiler. So it's not entirely smooth. So it's not done poorly. It's just it's got some major quality control issues. So if this is a separate, I don't believe it's a separate hood. It's just painted to resemble the fiberglass hood. There's a defroster. Uh, you can just see the gap, same as the other one. Uh, it's just manufacturing. And here we have, again, matching it with its serial number, Dodge Challenger TA 2024. It is the 121 of this year, 14562WB. And the GL046, which is exactly identical to those other two challengers. The only major thing they'll do is usually they'll have a different body on top. M2 does the same thing. Uh, you can keep the same base and then just change the body. And you can just see here, uh, I just noticed that now. Look how finely done this is, the bolt that's stamped into the bottom of the car. And then this one where they just sort of missed. You can just see where they hit it. Not good enough because it sort of sticks out a lot. So this car obviously has a few manufacturing issues with quality. You have obviously tires. That's a common green light issue and M2. Uh, you have the wonky hood. You have the spats on the stampings there. And then this bolt thing. So obviously, if you're going to play with this thing, you're not going to be holding it by the underside. But uh, it's not sharp. Uh, but it is made of the same material. Uh, usually hardened zinc and aluminum. So it is, uh, it's not dangerous. It's just poorly done. So relatively minor gripes. I can't complain too much. I do like the car. Unfortunately, the representation here is subpar. So there's the 346 pack. It is uh, very different than the engine in the convertible. Uh, similar to the one in the other RT from Renault Empty. But at least this one, despite the fact that the car is orange, the interior is a lighter orange and the outside of the oil filter is a dark black, which means it does not make it hard to see, which is great. So, all in all, uh, you're not going to take it out of the package. This is not going to bother you. But obviously, uh, so it does stay open relatively well. That one does not. 
the uh, this challenger here. If I take out that little support thing, it's going to close immediately. It does not stay open. But this one appears to be okay, just like it's convertible over there. So that's okay. But like I said, if you're going to take it out of the package, that's not going to matter. I don't know if all of them have this or just this one. Maybe late in the day and nobody reset the timer for it. But uh, here we are. Anyway, just going to quickly do the roll test. Well, it rolls relatively well. So, uh, tire issues or not, it seems to be okay. Anyway, fans and friends, thank you for watching this Series 14 Barrett Jackson on the Dodge Challenger TA, not the RT, 1970 with the 346 pack. For some strange reason, not as well done as previous ones, but it's still nice, and I don't mind owning it. Anyway, thanks for watching. It's Thomas from Toronto, and until the next one.